G'day everyone, welcome again. Uh, this video we're going to do on uh, Materials Manager, or otherwise we call it Matman. Now, Matman can be accessed in several places, quite often via the drawing properties. We're going to use it via the Materials and Setup. You can see here the Materials Manager. So, when Matman comes up, it will look like this. What you're looking at so far is a you've got a type and a group and a material. The type is obviously the type of material, so where it will appear in Cabmaster and what types it is, e.g. E the doors and panels and bench tops. The groups are applicable to the doors and the bench top. Not everything has a group, but they're for sort of filtering the, the, the categories down a little bit more. Quite often you'd find it for the doors separating the uh, laminates from the two packs and painteds and the vinyls. The material below here is then the descriptive materials name. This is what you'll see it referred to in Cabmaster. So when you ask for a particular material, this is what you'll see. It is a good suggestion to be a bit descriptive here. Having the thickness declared, the colour and the type is quite handy and a style if it was appropriate. This makes it easy to call upon it and know what it was. Now moving across here to the side, we've got uh, different tabs associated to this one particular type of material at a time. Every one of these materials has different tabs available. The product style on the end though is only relevant to the doors. Moving down this, here, this section here, the brand, raw material and colour, they will make their first appearance in a report. Now if you have run a report, this is what they would basically look like. And here is the brand, the raw material and the colour. So that is their first area. So it is important to play with these names to get that correct. The finish part number style can also be used, but be careful using too many of them because they will make the reports line quite long and they might be illegible as time goes on. As we move on to the next tab, we've got the pricing. Uh, the, this is where we can choose whether it's using pricing tables, square meterage, linear meterage, linear pricing table and how much extra markup beyond the normal. But this can be covered in another topic with regard to pricing. Under the other information we find the optimize and optimize code. Now this is only relevant then to the optimization link customers or people with uh, beam saws. That's when we would utilize that. With regard to the further buttons here, the grain and machine, these two are probably most relevant to the machining crew. Uh, the grain is to lock it as a grained material, which means it will keep it locked to the particular direction it needs to be. This is the first mistake some people miss. The other one is to have it ticked for machining if you want to export this material to be able to be machined. Very importantly here, and this is for all the customers, this is the actual thickness. If it is supposed to be 16.3, make it 16.3. Everyone has their own different preference what they call their materials. It is open for interpretation, but that is where your thickness is, not the descriptive side over here to the left. This further button down here is a door requires edging. Quite often this will be turned off if you're utilising a vinyl material it will be turned on if you're not and requiring edging. Bearing in mind this is an option only available to the doors category. With regard to the display texture, this is just the folders of where the colours are in the background for Cabmaster. We can import others, so the list is basically infinite to your imagination. But in here we find the folders we want to use and the colours we want to use. We can pick whatever we want. You could even pick a bench top colour for a panel or door as long as that colour is then the correct colour for you. As I said with the doors, the doors have a product style available to them. This is not the colour, it is just an overlay which will change the imagery of the door as it looks in Cabmaster. It will still have the colour around the edgings but it will have a glass insert inside it. This is just a style. It does not actually create the machining of the product. Just going back to the general tab for a second here with regard to the raw material. In the doors and the panels, quite often you'll find, especially machining brand, uh, guys, they will want to match the door material with the panel material to be able to be machined. You must use this raw code. You will never get the material name to be the same in the doors and the panels. They will always be different, but you can match your raw materials. The example is here. With the machining general settings under construction two, you will find it listing to raw material instead of material name. So for those guys doing machining, please note that one. That is the only way to match them up. Now, with making a new material, we you can see that there is an ad from manufacturers. Don't use that. It's an old form that 
doesn't really do the right trick. It locks up our brand, raw material, color, finish, part number, and style, so we can't edit them, which means it's very hard to manipulate our material down the track. What we tend to use and recommend is to add a new material. Now this is obviously just gonna put in the descriptive name, so like you could see in the background with the acorn laminate. There is a name, so I say yes. Now I always recommend to a customer to go and choose a material that is almost identical to the one that they wanna make or one they know works correctly. The answer to this question then is going to be yes because you've specifically chosen that material because it works or it's almost identical to the one you're trying to do. Now, at this present moment I've just pressed OK, this material is an exact copy of the previous one except for the fact its name is different. This is where we systematically come through these tabs and we change the settings to make it different. So this one we might change and change its brand to test brand. We might change its raw material code to 16 test. We might change its color to test. These are all the changes we can make. We can make, keep going, I can add new fields down here. We need to make these so that it is different material from what the other one was. Under the pricing, this is where we could change. We could change it from being a table and we could do it as a square meterage. On the other information, I might want to turn around and say, this one I do want to machine, but it does have a grain but it's actually 16 thick. I'm gonna leave it as that because I did actually call it 16, but it might be vinyl wrapped. On the folder, I'm gonna leave it as the same color because this one doesn't really matter. And product style, I might wanna go back to a slab flat panel, which means it's just a plain, no extra finish piece of material. Display texture, actually, I might change this color. I might make it aloe vera, crappy color. Anyway, that is then how you make a new material. And as I said, matching that raw code to the panels will then make the material be able to machine at the same time. Bearing in mind when you're in the ones with the group, you can add a group and you can actually give it a new name so you can add more. Hopefully this video has been insightful for you.